energy. Talking about paying more, though, there's a theme. Can you see the emerging yet? Would you pay uh, nearly £120 a year more to help the climate, to help fund things like hydrogen, gas, etc.? This is, of course, all about net zero. Quick yes, yes or very, no very, very quickly, I'm not an expert on hydrogen. I don't know whether that's the right solution. But yes, I would, in principle, be prepared to pay more. But it comes back to that other thing. I absolutely don't think it should be a, a blanket increase across the board because how can we possibly be asking those 11 million people who are already struggling with their bills to pay even more? Those who can afford it should help to fight climate change. We've got an emergency. We don't want to have even bigger migration problems than we have at the moment. Alex? I think we've got this policy debate the wrong way around. I think that um, when you... Demand, when you insist people have to have their boilers taken out, they have to have a heat pump put in, when you say it's going to cost you X much more, it naturally disincentivizes people from going, from listening to the agenda you have and thinking, how am I going to cope, as Matthew was saying. If you want to do things like this, in the end, the honest thing for a government to do is do it out of direct taxation, um, where, we, where uh, that's just where the, burn, the burden falls, and um, you ensure that people don't wind up, as I fear is going to happen with this kind of thing, resenting the environmental agenda more and more. We're becoming too hair shirt about it. If you ask people to do something very small, like recycling, they'll do it. But if you say you've got to take out your boiler mandatory, they don't like it. Well, we were out and about asking the good folk of Birmingham today that very question, would you be happy to pay more to help, uh, help the climate? Here's what they had to say. Well, I think for 120 extra pounds a year, that's tenner a month. I feel like that's the least that we can do if you want to save the planet that we live on. No, I, I think that's ridiculous. Uh... I mean, the government have a responsibility. They've signed up to all those treaties, so therefore they ought to fund it. As long as it wasn't too much, I think if everybody did it, it would be good. Okay. Uh, no, I don't think I would be comfortable with that. No, I think uh, if the technology's there, um, then bills will come down and support. But no, I think we've got to look after ourselves and, and look after mankind rather than um, paying higher prices for, for green energy. Well, there you go. I'll let you be the final judge. 120 quid a year extra. Would you be up for it or not? And by the way, if you're one of these massive climate activists, uh, volunteer yourself. Get in there. Overpay. Pay even more. Uh, and if we, if we manage a society like that, we might have a bit of a, a better society, right? If you're massively into these causes, pay a little bit more. And if you don't believe in it, you think it's all a little bit of uh, all taught, this whole net zero thing, you wouldn't have Michelle, to do you it. you can't possibly think that the people who demonstrate for, for Just Stop Oil are wealthy enough oh, to, to change the climate. Oh, don't get me started change. on the people. Come on. Is that because Listen. they don't work? Possibly, I... but they're not, gonna, they're not going to fix that. There'll be some inherited issues. wealth, such as the they, nature they of are, I, You may have noticed I don't go out trying to stop traffic. That's not my shtick, right? But the idea that people who particularly care about the climate, rightly so have enough money to solve our issues is just pie in the sky. Well, I don't know. I